Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be testing the Furious FPV 2.4 gigahertz uh, VTX with the 2.4 gigahertz Fat Shark module. I have it set to 500 milliwatts currently. As you can tell here, it's really good that they provided those little um, adapters here because you will need these and these are purchased separately. So yeah, a combo comes with two of these. So I got two combos so I can have also one on the VTX here. Now I know 5.8 gigahertz antennas will work but I don't know to what extent and how good they will work. So previously at 600 milliwatts, I've gotten around 2.4 kilometers of range on the Ionway antenna and the ESN TX uh, 805. So right now I'm preparing, I'm, I'm actually charging up the batteries and we're about to take this out for its first maiden. Everything is set up first maiden with that VTX and uh, seeing how well that's gonna perform. So yeah, let's get cracking. All right, so as you can tell right off the bat, it is flickering. And now the flickering, I think, is due, and they did state this in the manual, is not to set it to auto, where it automatically picks NTSC and PAL. You should do that manually. And I think that's what's going on here from the, 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 the noise that was in the, in the aircraft, basically. I, even though I do have a low ESR capacitor, there is still some slight noise reaching everything else. So I think that's what was going on right there. Um, also, another thing, I did reach around 3.06 kilometer mark with this, which was really nice. And the, the amount of breakup was very minimal. However, the OSD RSSI for the antennas was really sluggish and not that responsive. There was times where it dips down to 30 and it will just gradually go up. And um, I really didn't like that. I kind of really wanted to see it just more responsive. It, feel, it would feel a lot better and it feels a lot safer. Uh, I did feel that I, for some reason the 5.8 gigahertz feels a lot quicker than the, the, the diversity on the 2.4 gigahertz, but I could be completely wrong. But um, just because of that OSD is really playing with my head, I think that little bar is, is what's really making me think that. But I'm going to be putting in more flights and uh, just understanding it a little bit more as time goes on here. Now the flickering isn't as bad as you guys see it in the DVR, but there was that little flicker. It was really annoying to watch that auto uh, NTSC and auto PAL. So basically it was on NTSC. I should have just thought about it in the beginning because it keeps jumping to auto NTSC. So basically when you boot up your, your basically your VTX and, and your Fat Shark module, as soon as you boot it up, it'll pick it and it should just disappear, but it just kept coming back and back and back. And I should have just set that up manually. But it's really nice that they stated in the uh, manual also to do that and I just didn't do that. So next time or whenever you use it or if you have one, just make sure you set it correctly to your NTSC or PAL camera so you don't run into this issue if any noise were touching the VTX. Now there wasn't much noise in the system to touch the VTX that much. However, I did notice it handled the noise better than the other VTX which I was using which was a 5.8 gigahertz. But still the, the flickering, I never had the flickering on the TX805 but the flickering could be due to the auto uh, issue here. Now this thing, I can push it for, I think four kilometers at 500 milliwatts. Now I was broadcasting at 500 milliwatts the whole time and uh, I did hit around 3.06 kilometers. I didn't want to push it any further because I was afraid of not making it back due to my battery dying. But other than that, I really did enjoy this whole flight and um, it felt really nice. It felt very secure, like the link felt very secure. Even though I did have some breakups here and there, but then the image quality would just come back perfect. I didn't have the, uh, around usually around 2.4 kilometers or two kilometers of 5.8 gigahertz at 600 milliwatts. It gets kind of sketchy, but here it didn't get sketchy. I could have pushed even more, which is really nice to see. So that means it's, it's, it's you, I am getting longer range, but again, I can't answer the penetration, but I can answer range currently, as you can tell. But um, overall, I did really enjoy it. Um, I don't think currently from these couple tests that I would definitely change everything to 2.4 gigahertz just yet. Um, I do have an AKK FX2 Ultimate, which I'm going to be kind of uh, comparing both of them in a later video once I finish up the Nano Talon. It's finished even though I flew it today, but I had a little accident where I accidentally disarmed and ran into a tree. And we're going to keep that for a later video. I need to set up, fix up the wing a little bit more because it kind of came loose because it broke one of the uh, supporting uh, bars in it. But overall, uh, the Furious FPV 2.4 gigahertz, pretty expensive combo. The antennas you have to buy separately. And um, it just, it works really great so far from what I've used it. I've done a total of seven flights. 
Uh, but this, the, these are the range flights, basically. This was the last range flight of the day. Uh, the other ones were just basically auto-tuned and just trying to get everything and try to understand the efficiency and uh, just, just calculating everything so I have a better idea. So when I start testing in the shop, I know which motor to put because I'm thinking of dropping down to an Emax 1900 KV, the 2206 one. Hopefully I get a little bit more efficiency and possibly pop up the prop from a 6 to 7 inch and uh, seeing how well that goes. So I'm going to do a lot of testing in-house here. If anyone's interested, let me know. I'll make a video on that once I come up with the data. So overall, the 2.4 gigahertz was really good. It performed like it said. I could push it for a lot further, which is really nice to see here. Um, also, the you know it just felt kind of sluggish. I really didn't like the o the OSD RSSI reading. I wish it was faster, but that's just me nitpicking. Um, but if you're looking for range, it seems like it's handling its range really well. And again, just wait a little bit until I compare it against the uh, uh, FX2, the uh, AKK FX2 Ultimate. I'll be broadcasting at its top and also at 600 milliwatts. I think it does 600 milliwatts also. Just to get an idea of where the breakup starts to happen. I know the milliwatts are completely different between both of these in the range. But I want to see, you know, because it's a lot cheaper to stay with a 5.8 gigahertz. And uh, since basically all your equipment is running 5.8 gigahertz, and so just a little bit easier because it was really annoying to having to switch the module. It's not as easy as just popping it off, putting it back in. You have to line those retarded pins, and uh, it took actually it took a while to keep, get it right every time, every once in a while. So it was really annoying to switch back between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 5.8 gigahertz, which um yeah I just thought was really time consuming but I mean this is the review and this is what I had to do um, but I currently at the current moment in time until I finish the Nano Talon uh, then I will come back and give you my verdict if I do recommend it instead of switching out everything to 5.8 gigahertz I'll also need to do some kind of penetration testing but that's going to be in a later video and we'll see how well that plays out all right, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And if you could use the links down below, those greatly support the channel before you make a purchase. This channel needs all the support you could possibly get. And I also do have a Patreon, which would be really nice if you supported me there so I can, it, it will enable me to do more mods and more real dedicated testing, which allows me to give more time into a product and give you real nice testing results and everything of that nature. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.